Students flooded the main lawn of the Columbia University campus before dawn, setting up dozens of tents in what they've described as a Gaza solidarity encampment. They're calling on the university to completely divest from Israel. Say it loud, say it clear. We don't want no Zionists here. Their act of protest coinciding with University President Namat Shafiq's testimony before a congressional subcommittee in Washington, D.C. Today, House Republicans... Let the university has faced accusations of anti-Semitism by some House Republicans. Columbia's leadership refuses to enforce their own policies and condemn Jewish hatred on campus, creating a breeding ground for anti-Semitism and a hotbed of support for terrorism from radicalized faculty and students. The university president said the vast majority of campus protests have been peaceful. Anti-Semitism has no place on our campus, and I am personally committed to doing everything I can to confront it directly. A heavy police presence here at Columbia University. Barricades have been set up all around the campus, and they won't let media or anyone without a school ID be on the gates. And you can see that some demonstrators now have actually set up outside of the gates as well as on campus. Like other colleges in the United States, Columbia has seen regular demonstrations, some in support of Israel. Free, free, free Palestine. But the loudest and most persistent have been protests calling for a ceasefire. Some Jewish students told us they feel threatened. Recognizing Palestinian suffering shouldn't negate Jewish suffering. But that's what we've seen. We've seen the dehumanization of Jews and Israelis on campus. But those who camped on the lawn Wednesday say they're the ones being harassed by the university. And now, because of the encampment, believe they will be suspended from school. This young woman said she was afraid to give her name or show her face. I'm afraid that the university will uh, punitively attack me uh, for participating in a pro-Palestinian movement as they have been discriminately attacked. Students of all ethnicities, races and faiths uh, who pr support Palestinian liberation. Demonstrators say they won't stop protesting as long as civilians are dying in Gaza and until the university ends what they describe as its complicity in genocide. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.